Like camouflage and polka dots Focus on your position Just know your spot Sure don't stop It's a long season They planning on winning For the wrong reasons Trying to get my number retired Can't let these frauds beat us I figured out the recipe Never let opponents get the best of me I'm focused on my legacy Big chips, man, I need that Hustle hard on the job, you can see that When well, my head is real good, we don't need your feedback They clear the way when my crew coming through What I do? Lace up the shoes, chase the blues What I do? Lace up the shoes, chase the blues Now what I do? Lace up the Okay, Coach. Well, the road ends here. It has been a wild, often unpredictable 2019 season. And now it's time for the greatest spectacle in all the sports. Super Bowl 54 from Miami. You know, this town has played host to 10 Super Bowls in the past. And tonight, we write chapter number 11. And what a matchup we've got. Tonight, it's all on the line. We play for the Lombardi Trophy as it'll be the first time champions of the AFC, the Cleveland Browns, taking on the champions from the Let's NFC, go. the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Brandon God and Charles Davis, thrilled to be with you for this one. And CD, all eyes on the AFC champs. What a story. The Cleveland Browns, their first Super Bowl appearance ever. 0-16 just two seasons ago, and now four quarters away from a Super Bowl title. An utterly remarkable turnaround. There's no other way to put it. Fan base, can you imagine how desperate they've been for this day, for this opportunity to come around? You have to go back to 1964 for their last title in the NFL. That's pre-Super Bowl era. They beat the Colts 27 to nothing in that one. Frank Ryan, Jim Brown. But these fans are tired of hearing about the past. They're tired of hearing about the All-American Football Conference, how the Browns came into the NFL and blew everyone away. They've got their team now their time and they want to win meanwhile the buccaneers are back in the super bowl for just the second time in franchise history i know one thing they'd love a repeat of that first appearance would they ever that was 2003 in san diego and it was super bowl 37 they were the underdogs coming in against the oakland raiders and they flogged the raiders in that game 48 to 21. you know what i remember most about that John Gruden was the head coach of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, but he'd previously been the head coach of the Oakland Raiders. And during practice leading up to the game, he would play scout team quarterback and tell the defense all the characteristics and mannerisms of the Raiders quarterback, Rich Gannon, and had his defense totally prepared. And boy, did they play well and won their first Super Bowl title. On is the punt team. Now is this one sent away. This is taken at the 15. 12 yards on the return that time. And the Bucs will get ready to go on offense. Come on, come on. 
Here's Ronald Jones, first carry for the USC man. And this will go for five up to the 33. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down. A very solid gain on that play. On second down, it's Jones. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. That's a really good job right there. Just kept stringing that play out, pushing further and further towards the sideline. Really good fundamentals by that defense. He was trying to put his foot in the ground and turn up field. He just couldn't. No, they really had a picket fence in front of him. No room to find to get upfield. And he's into the clear. He's at the 40, 20, 10. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. With a first touchdown of this Super Bowl and a long one at that as his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. So a long play for our first points in the Super Bowl. No doubt about it. And what we see here is something that we saw all year long from them. The ability to strike from anywhere on the field. How about the way they got it started in this one? And following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Browns drive about to get started. And they'll certainly be trying to do better than that first drive where they went three and out. And sometimes the first drive is just simply to settle nerves. You know what it's like in the start of a game with the emotion. Guys are a little bit jumpy. Oh, you do. Oh, you, you understand the same way. It's just like us calling one, right? Making sure we ease into He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked up by Levante David. And he's able to get it back to the 41-yard line. And, Brandon, this is a real nice job defensively of getting inside a quarterback's head and figuring out, okay, where is he going with the football? Because you can make an educated guess defensively, not all the time, but sometimes. And when you're right, you've got a decent chance of coming away with the football. Now, the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave him with a second and two. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. Brady going to throw. That's into the hands of the tight end, Leggett. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. So first and 10 now from the 30. Jones. And that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. On second and 11 now. Brady. Green brings it in. His first catch of this Super Bowl, and it'll be good for a first down. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more play. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Buccaneers. Ronald Jones, his second touchdown of this Super Bowl as the Buccaneers tack on to their lead. Extra point by Gain is up and good. And it's now 14 to nothing. And following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Set. 
The Browns drive about to get started. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of the teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early, probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything. At least three points get that zero off the board. Mayfield hands it off to Chubb. It's a four-yard pick up there, and it leaves him with third and five. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. That makes him now 0 for 2 here in the first quarter on third down conversions. And now they'll look to their defense because they need them to step up so they don't fall further behind here in the early going. And the kick's away as he angles this one for the sideline. And this is going to be ruled out, I think, just inside the 20. Yes, it will. Side judge calls it at the 19-yard line. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. Sheldon Richardson there to make the play. It's a game of five. Brings up second and five at the 23-yard line. 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Now Brady. Looking deep downfield. And that will be incomplete. Try to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. The beauty of being able to play a zone defense when you can sit back and see the ball coming out of the quarterback's hands, guess what? Creates a lot of confusion, kind of a muddle in the middle of the field where you go make a play on the football. Here's Brady to throw. Try to lay one up deep. And that'll wind up incomplete. Bold play call there. Now it's fourth down. But one thing's for sure, when you've got a big receiver, and you trust him downfield, you're going to give him opportunities to go up and get that 50-50 ball. And he is a darn good big receiver. Unfortunately, that time didn't work out. Nice job defensively. The Browns drive about to get started. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. Now Chubb running right. And here's another tackle made at the line. So they're converging well on the football now. Call it no gain on the run there. And now they'll be looking at a third down. The Bucks with an extra defender now in the secondary here on third down. You draw Parker. Here we go, D. Hey, it's, just, it's, just, it's just me and you. It's just me. King, King, King. Me and you. Watch out. Here's Mayfield. Taken down, trying to do a little too much, getting outside of the pocket, and it results in a sack. Kendall Beckwith 
In there to get him for a loss of nine yards, and that also leads to fourth down. He gets this away. It's a good one, drawing toward the sidelines. And now where will the side judge stop his walk? That's the question. He says it crossed out of bounds at about the 17-yard line. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. It's been a good first half so far. They're up 14 to nothing. Points here. They could really put them in command before intermission. Yeah, and it's all well and good what they're seeing and how they're feeling right now. But this is the NFL. How many times have we watched 14 to nothing leads evaporate and quickly? Mm. So how do we, have we seen them combat it? Continue to run your offense, but don't back off at all. Don't start looking at the clock. Don't start thinking about, hey, just take care of the football. Keep attacking. Usually the best way to maintain control. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. 15 yards as Tampa Bay picks up the first. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. They'll try the right side with Jones. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. It'll be a loss of one, and that'll bring up a second and 11. At the 46-yard line. Wait, that's 380. 58, come on. Come to my world. We hit. Now he'll throw with Brady. It's caught by Mike Evans. Brady's pass can take to Mike Evans. A gain of 11 makes it third and one. Brady to throw on third and one. He's got Evans. And he's into the end zone for a Tampa Bay touchdown. Mike Evans, 36 yards as the Buccaneers tack on to their lead. And correct me if I'm wrong, that was just a simple fly route, wasn't it? No, there's nothing to correct at all. You've got it down pat. And I just remember as a player, when I'd be in practice sessions, and I'd hear nine from the receivers, that meant fly route, go, uh-oh, look out. That was the nine, and he just kept going all the way into the end zone for the touchdown. the touchdown now it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away this is fielded at the goal line and he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26 yard line The Browns drive about to get started. And some dangerous territory. You're already down three scores. A three and out here or an inability to put any points up. This one might be over by half. Yeah, and what you also have to guard against is calling out every play for a big shot downfield. You know, thinking you're going to get all these points back on one drive. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. And out across midfield down to the 45. That one nearly 30 yards, 29 officially. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Two minutes even on the clock in the first half of Super Bowl 54. Coming up at halftime, I'll go from one personality, that's you, Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL. You and Jonathan Coachman, both larger than life. No doubt about it. But you're stuck with me in this booth, <laughs> yes, and he's I miles am. away and smiling. And happy. Another example right there how this defense really is winning the entire game at the point of attack. Yeah, right there at the line of scrimmage because they are dominating. It allows their interior guys to get upfield and spill into the backfield. So how are you going to combat that? You know, because they bring in your tight end, keep him in. Your running backs, they have to step forward. Bottom line, the offensive line has to block them first to give yourself a chance. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. One of the advantages of zone defense, as I remember it, is being able to see the play develop in front of you. One of the disadvantages, when they find those levels where they can hit you with it. Sometimes behind the corner and in front of the safety, it makes it tough to defend. Mayfield down. And that is incomplete. 
Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all. And I understand why they look lethargic, out of sync, and it shows on the scoreboard. Boy, a call like this, certainly tougher to make in a Super Bowl, but they'll go for it on fourth down. Real, real, real. Now Mayfield on fourth down. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Vita Vea, and the Buccaneers defense holds, and they get the football back. Uh, the D brought the house, they called the blitz, and they get to the quarterback, overwhelming the O-line. And I would love to know, and we'll find out later on, was that called before the play, or did they audible into it? Because defenses change plays as well as offenses. Sometimes they get the set they want, they go right to the blitz, and in this case, they nailed it. Got right to the quarterback, no chance on that fourth down. And very little room to maneuver. He'll get this down to about the 39. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Second and nine at the 39-yard line. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. They'll get five out of the keeper, but now it's third down. Now the Bucs going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in the first half of play. And for the Browns, a nickel set here on third down. Now this time, Brady will throw. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Denzel Ward. Ah, oh, Brandon, this is a veteran quarterback back there. He should know better than to make a throw like this. This is definitely not his best ball. And I think he knew this was trouble the second it was leaving his hand. Mayfield looks to throw. It's caught by OBJ. And they got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. Mayfield now looking to throw on first down. Got an open man, it's Ratley. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. Mayfield on first down. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked off by the free safety, Eric Berry. And he will be brought down as time is now run out on this first half of action. So we've reached halftime here in the 2020 Super Bowl, Super Bowl 54. As we go up to Orlando now and hand it over to Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack him here. Now a first down carry by Jones. He's got a first down and much more inside the 20. And finally wrestled down at the 8-yard line. 
A big hitter there. A first down gain of 26 yards. That was excellent from start to finish, from the blocking to the running, just well executed. And now let's look ahead because after that, how about a little play action, maybe a little bootleg, and get the quarterback out on the corner and give him a little run pass option. And they're right down here looking for six. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. And plays like that are exactly what this defense needs here early in the second half to give it a little spark. I think their halftime adjustment, what they talked about, maybe it's just a little inspirational speech. Who knows? But looks like they're ready to go. Now from the nine, here's second and goal. To throw, it's Brady. This into the hands of his running back, Ronald Jones. And the ball is out. Jones got hit and lost it. And this is picked up by the Browns. And to the 12. That's where it stops. The return is halted at the 12-yard line. Partner, you know how often we hear about the red zone, right? From the 20-yard line going in, that scoring zone, getting points on the board. A lot of teams call from the 10-yard line in the green zone. That's your money zone. He fumbles the ball inside the muddy zone. You have one job, take care of the ball. That didn't happen. Now a first down throw complete downfield. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. That one goes for 30 yards. Mayfield hands to Chubb on the draw. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. They run it again with Chubb. And he's got this down to the 35. A good pick up there for the Browns, 15 yards. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. Give him a couple on the scramble. It's second down. How about a tip of the cap to the defense? They're working against a very mobile quarterback, but all day long they've kept him under wraps. And on that play, they held him to a short gain. To throw again on second down, Mayfield. Now Mayfield lost the football. A plays like this where the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back. Because this is, this is a quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from him. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. Certainly looked like they were getting ready to convert there on third down, but what an effort to get his hand on that one, knock it away, and brings up a fourth down decision. And this is right down the middle as he puts it through, and the deficit drops now from 21 down to 18. These kickers now, it's like we take them for granted. Kicks like that used to be such a big deal, and now you just expect them to make it. Yeah, you're exactly right, and we shouldn't take them for granted, but I have a theory about it. You want to hear it? Yeah. They are more athletic now than ever before. Talk about kickers. Trace their backgrounds, trace their histories. You'll find that they were big-time athletes all along, but their kicking was so prevalent that we made them specialists. Well, and now those 50-plus yarders seem easy for some reason. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. In my book, that's running the ball well, but with intelligence. How about him keeping the clock moving, staying in bounds? Yeah, even though it's the third quarter, you're thinking ahead, aren't you? This is where your running game can really help you with a lead in the second half. I agree totally. It's not just end-of-the-half situations that you worry about the clock. It's throughout the game, and with a lead, stay in bounds. Make them fight harder to try and catch you. First and ten at the 46-yard line.
On first down, it's Jones, and he got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. On second down now, it's Jones. Give him two yards that time, and it's going to leave him with a third and 11 situation. Back now here on EA Sports. It's the Bucs. They've got the football. They also are in front here on the scoreboard as we start the fourth. The Bucks on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This is third and 11. Check, check, check. Motion out of the backfield. Motion out of the backfield. 58, right over there, right over there. Yeah, yeah. Mike, 58, right there. Watch the screen, watch the screen. Watch the screen. Let me go. Brady now to throw. And able to find Green. And they're going to have another first down as he's going to be tackled at the Browns 40. If you're going to blitz, likely going to leave you in man coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver, if you blitz and have him in man coverage, you're going to him, even if he has an elite defender on him, because he usually knows where the ball is before the defender does. So a first and 10 upcoming from Brown's territory now, right at the 40. Touchdown, Tampa Bay! Ronald Jones with his third touchdown of this Super Bowl as the Buccaneers tack on to their lead. So he's in for his third score of the game, and defense probably saying, man, we, we don't want to see this guy for a long time. It's bad enough when anyone scores a touchdown against you, but for one person to get three, it almost sets him apart from the rest of the game, and no one likes to see any of those players on a pedestal, not from the defensive point of view. And following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. Let's go, son. At their own 25 yard line. The Browns drive about to get started. And hey, fortunate to get points on the board last time. They had to hit a really long field goal to do so. The kickers in today's game are so good and so skilled and hit from distances that we almost start to take them for granted. Mm -hmm. And we can't do that. That's a long field goal that they got three points out of. They've got to feel good about that. And they better make sure they love him up because he's helped them out. Yeah, now we'll see if that offense can put six on the board here. We'll see. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Working out of the gun, Mayfield. And he's got his man on the comebacker. His first catch of this Super Bowl, and it'll be good for a first down. That's just his second catch of the game. They wanted to keep him silent. They have kept him silent. Defensive football 101. Don't let the best player on offense beat you. Take him out of the game. They've done a great job of doing that. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Shaquille Barrett put that sack by his name in the stat sheet. And plays like that really hurt play calling. They had a really nice gain on the previous play, but gave about half the yardage back on the sack. Excellent pressure up front. Nowhere to go with the football. Down he goes. 51 to Mike. 51 to Mike. Let's go, D. Point it right, point it right, point it right. After the sack on first down, Mayfield flush to his right. And finding the tight end, Hooper. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. 
He was out there waving his arms, and when you got a quarterback out of the pocket looking for any help, I guess waving the arms is helpful. It certainly is, because you got to get his attention, because now you're in scramble drill. So everyone's adjusting their routes, finding open space, and he found the right spot for the completion. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the box 33. Mayfield now. Five straight completions here in this second half. First and ten. And now a throw here secured by his running back out of the backfield. And he works it to the 30-yard line here right at the 30. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give him that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle him after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Throwing again on second down, Mayfield. And that's going to be caught for a Browns touchdown. Odell Beckham, 30 yards. And the Browns get a score closer. Extra point by Seibert, up and good. And the lead is down to 28-10. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And all that work, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he's simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. The Bucks' offense set to begin their next possession. And now last drive so successful with the ground game, ending in a touchdown. Do you stick with that for a little? That would be the number one thing you would think of, but so many guys now would look at it and say, we've got them. And he's into the end zone for a Tampa Bay touchdown. Tavon Austin, 75 yards as the Buccaneers tack on to their lead. Not a whole lot to recap on that drive. Just one play, 75 yards to the house. Yeah, it's a long way to go. Remember, rarely is it a straight line 75 yards, too. Got to have a little extra in there. So whatever the final number is, a well-deserved seat on the bench, a little oxygen if he wants it as well. Following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and he'll take over at the 25. The Browns drive about to get started. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. And he's brought down after a very nice game. It'll go as a gain of 25 on a play that started back at the 25. The clock showing two minutes even in what's been a memorable Super Bowl 54. So the Browns in possession of the football here as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Mayfield now from the 50. Throws right side and that's complete. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Flushed out right. Now a desperation throw deep downfield and nearly picked it off. He had a chance to come down with that in the end zone, but it'll wind up just being incomplete. Another incompletion. You know, it's a wonder he's still moving around back there the number of times he's been sacked. Yeah, he's staying out there, isn't he? And you don't think about it much in a game like this, but he's showing incredible leadership. Still competing, still fighting, not taking himself out of a ball game that appears lost. Hurry, hurry! On me, on me! My four, my 
A second down throw for Mayfield. And it's caught inside the five. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. 25 yards that time. Go, go. Mayfield with it once more. Steps away to his left. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Shaquille Barrett able to get him for a loss of about three. On any first and goal, the real estate to work with for the offense is really cut down, and the defense knows it. So they often bring heat and pressure, which they did on this play. Got him down for a loss. Not a big one, but any loss of yardage in this position is tough for an offense. Escaping the pressure right. And the pressure gets to him again. Levante David leading the surge there as he drops him for a loss of six. How about that, partner? His second sack of the game, and that puts him in some pretty good company. 17 guys have had two sacks in the previous 52 Super Bowls, but only three have had the record number of three sacks in this game. And we've got the list here. If he gets another one and everyone behaves nicely, we might just list those out for him. Now Mayfield on third and goal. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. If they're going to have a shot in this Super Bowl, they're going to need this one on fourth down. Mayfield will throw for it on fourth, and he'll go down, brought down at the 20-yard line. He couldn't get the ball away on fourth and goal. And the Buccaneers' defense holds, and they get the football back. The Bucs offense set to begin their next possession. They have the dream scenario you hope for coming into the game. Just one kneel here, and this game should be over. And it's always the final play of preparation each week. The practicing of the kneel down formation, the victory formation. We've got a game in hand, and that's all they're going to want to do now. They'll put someone back deep just in case something goes haywire. But all in all, take the snap, kneel down, and shake hands. Yes, get out of there. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers have won the Super Bowl and they will hoist the Lombardi Trophy to cap an amazing season. And to the Super Bowl champions, they etch their name forever in NFL immortality. That's pretty phenomenal right there. It actually gave me chills just to hear you <laughs> say that because immortality forever and ever. When you look in the record books, you'll see this team. You'll see their picture. That Your name will be a part of it. That's got to be an incredible feeling because it's been a long journey to get there, and now they get a chance to enjoy it. year just how everybody wants to end the year holding the Lombardi trophy what a season for them what a ride it's been for us as well here in the booth for Charles Davis and our entire crew I'm Brandon Gunn thanks for watching everybody we will see you next season right here on EA Sports